Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing how with only a few simple steps you can use your old iMac as a secondary or external monitor with a newer MacBook. Here's a quick list of the gear needed. Firstly, the primary computer must have a USB-C output. Secondly, you need an iMac with a mini display port or Thunderbolt 2 output. Thirdly, you need a USB-C to mini display port cable. This is the cable I bought. I got it from the Australian Apple Store for $65. Um, the American one is $35. US dollars. Um, you can find a few of these on Amazon. However, I just bought the Apple certified one. Um, it's obviously up to you which one you choose as long as it's USB-C to mini display port. Right, so here's the current setup I have running. I'm running the 2020 MacBook Air with the M1 processing chip as well as the late 2009 iMac running Mac OS Yosemite, which is 10.10.5. So the process for connecting these computers is extremely simple. First, just make sure the laptop is open and unlocked, and the iMac is turned on, doesn't matter whether you're logged in or still on the login screen. Second step is to connect the mini display port to the back of the iMac, and third step is to connect the USB-C jack into your MacBook. Yeah, so as you can see, the MacBook is now connected to the iMac. If I wanted to, I can just open a window here um, and move it uh, across over to here. And now it's acting as an ordinary second and slash external monitor. The process is just as simple to stop using it as a secondary or external monitor. All you have to do is go over to the MacBook and simply unplug the USB-C jack. As you can see, the iMac's going back to the normal iMac screen and the MacBook has gone back to using only one display. The only downside to this is that none of the iMac's USB or Bluetooth connectivity things will be able to work when it's being used as an external monitor as it's treating it like a monitor instead of a computer. This means that this keyboard and mouse I have that are going into the USB ports or could be Bluetooth in the iMac will not work when it's been connected however work fine before and after you've connected it to your MacBook. That simply means that you just need to either use the laptop, mouse and keyboard, or you just need to connect an uh, external keyboard and external mouse to the laptop instead of the iMac. So there you have it, that's how you can use an older iMac that you may have lying around and use it as a secondary display slash external monitor for your newer MacBook. This works on older models of MacBooks as well. You don't necessarily have to have the 2020 M1s. Just any MacBook that has USB-C outputs will be able to work. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and a comment. If you'd like to see more of this or music related content, please hit the subscribe button up there and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. That's all for now. See you soon.